can you will I can you will address you know you know that's what that nonsense who are you 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 Stop. Oh, I Stop. Hey, I Hey, 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 Okay, thank you for joining. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I want to say thank you all for making out the time to connect with us today on this program. Um, we are going to be shaping up the conversation around the arrest today of the former governor of Imo State and, and sitting, uh, Senator uh, Obede Rochers Okaracha, who represents Imo West Senatorial District. Um, we are asking for you to share your thoughts on the incident that unfolded today in Oweri Emo State. If you would like to join in the conversation, we ask that you use the link uh, to call in. There is a link that is pinned in the comment section. Please uh, feel free to call in and have your say. So um, I'll tell you what, here's a background as to what unfolded. Senator Richards Okoracha arrived in Emo State. The property in question, which you saw in, uh, in the intro there that we played, was sealed off by the state government on Friday. So uh, the state government, uh, through the office of the Commissioner for Lands, had sealed off the property, the Royal Pam's estate. Now, uh, the senator arrived uh, in most state and proceeded on to the property, which was sealed off and uh, broke uh, reportedly broke the uh, property, broke broke in to the property, unsealed the property, and uh, reportedly vandalized the property. And the state government came in. He was arrested, as you can see uh, unfold. We're going to play that again for those who missed it or who were just joining in and uh, taken over to the state CID where he was detained. Now, I am not sure if the police uh, grants bail on a, you know, on a weekend, this is a Sunday. So we're not sure if he is uh, gonna be uh, detained overnight or if, um, you know, due to his office, he will be allowed to, um, you know, go home or released based on his, you know, uh, his office and asked to meet. So we're not sure. What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on the situation at hand? Senator Richard Zakaracha represents Imo West, or Olu Senatorial Zone at the National Assembly. And there has been a lot of issues um, going on in Olu. Just the other day, there was, um, there was the military presence, heavy military presence in Olu. And uh, we are not really hearing from the, uh, the representative, we expect the all lawmakers who represent uh, Emo West should speak out and communicate to the citizens on what's going on um, and why the presence is there. You know, we've seen videos of citizens who are complaining and, and little children who are running away um, and, and, and just, you know, they don't know what's going on and why. I believe that there should be, you know, some kind of town hall meeting with the people to explain why exactly the military um, hovered around the communities and exactly what they were looking for, not leave it up to uh, uh, speculation. So um, we're opening up the conversations today. We're going to open up the lines and have this conversation around that. So please keep your contributions uh, to the issues at hand and, and, and feel free. If you're from Olu and you would like to comment, especially on uh, the, the presence, of course, of the military, you know, it's okay to wander into that, but the goal really for this conversation is to keep it on the arrest of uh, the immediate, uh, well, the past former governor of Imo State and the servant senator representing that district, Senator Rochers Akaracha. We have uh, people waiting on the, um, the phone lines. For those who are just coming in, hang tight. We'll be playing that again for you. All right, next on our first on our list here, we have Ikenna Holding. We have uh, Val, I will go up to Val. 
Hello, Val, how are you? And what are your thoughts on the issues today? Where are you calling from? Uh, good day, I'm calling from United States of America, San Antonio to be precise. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so when I saw that flying on internet, it was, it was, it was a bit surprising. You know, it was a bit surprising, but um, um, in his capacity as a senator of the state, one of the senators of the state, I, I really don't think he should have done that. Um, he, um, Herb, uh, Herb is the current governor of the state. And then he's the chief security officer of the state. Rocha Sokrocha has no right, regardless of who he is, to unlock those uh, gates that were locked by um, Hope Ozarema. And um, police, uh, they, they arrested him. I think they were trying to save him from being mobbed by the, the masses. But this, should have, this, this would teach him a lesson that he is no longer the sitting governor of the state. And then the state is under the authority of someone. If anything happens, Muhammad Buhari, the president of Nigeria, will call upon Hope, or Hope to ask him questions of what is going on. He's not going to call uh, Rocha Sokoracha. So whatever thing that is happening to him befits him. But like I said, I'm so sorry that that happens to him. But there must be a law, and they will have to follow the law. There are judicial processes he could have followed, and every other thing that he could have done. But to take laws into his hand, that's that's a no no to me. That's a very no no to me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your perspective, Val. I appreciate that feedback. Thank and you. If I, if I should add something, please. Sure. You know, he's 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 um. He likes power a lot. And whatever thing that is going on with him right now, he was the person that, you know, uh, planned it for himself. I remember when um, the APC government gave him that uh, the ticket. I mean, he should have given that ticket to his uh, son-in-law, you know, make him the governor of the state and step aside. And then when the son-in-law becomes the governor, he, the son-in-law can make a way for him to become a senator, but because he's so greedy and then power hungry, he messed up all that opportunity. How can you have the, the governor and become a senator at the same time? So, I mean, that's my own view of whatever thing that happens to him. So it's, it's a lesson to our governors and then those in power, you know, authorities. It doesn't last forever. It does not last forever. Okay, so yeah. It comes and goes. So <laughs> power is indeed transient, yes. Yeah, is is this is his uh, yesterday was his turn and today is hope was the demand's turn. Tomorrow who knows who might be there and then what will happen. So it has it is teaching us a lesson that we have to be human in whatever thing we are doing. Look at all that. I, I, I've never been in Nigeria for some time, but my friend just came back from yesterday and he went to a wedding. Telling me what this guy accumulated for himself. Oh my God, it's it's really unbelievable. I don't know where our people are going with all this accumulation of wealth. I really don't know. Well, thank you so much, Val. I appreciate your input. We'll go over to the other phone, the, the other people in in queue. Well, all thank right. you for sharing that. Okay, we'll see yeah. you next time. All right. Next we have Ikena. Hi, Kenna, how are you and where are you calling from? Your mic is muted, we can't hear you. Okay, thank you, <laughs> sorry. Hi, my name is Ikenna Emmanuel. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm from Imo State, but I'm calling from Cyprus. Yeah. Yeah, um, when I saw the video this um, afternoon, I was really perplexed because um, it, it's really shocking to see that something like this is happening. and. Uh, uh, Willie Roach has himself called uh, called himself a senator of the Federal Republic. I think uh, he should uh, know the law better. He should know the law better. Even if uh, Hopus Odima has taken steps, or Governor Hopus Odima has taken steps that he feels 
are unjust, then I think he should make it right because two wrong can make a right. A uh, two wrong can uh, cannot make a right. You know. So he from the from the video that went on uh, viral on the social media, he was saying that. Uh, um, uh, the governor was, there was no court order, there was no document to that effect, he was not invited. And he also had a call with one of these, uh, this, um, one of uh, China's television, and he was saying there was no call to him, there was uh, no document to that effect that invited him even after the panel set up by the governor inquired into the party. Yes, that happened. The governor has the executive orders on some certain things, and he's the chief security officer. Irrespective of the fact that we know that there is a weak secret architecture and uh, the the height of impunity has gone so high in, in the country. Uh, I think that doesn't still make some of these elites uh, ignorant of the right thing to do. So he's supposed to do the right thing rather than just turn into the, the premises, ask his boys to, to, to break the lock. And I also saw the video where he drove the helos that was parked in front of the gate. He was the one who drove the helos out of the, the 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 premises, you know, all the step he took is just an exemplification of power that be big power, you know. They they they, they, they sometimes undermine some certain things and they take Nigerians uh, uh, for fool, you know. Yeah, that's what they did, and and he, he's crying. I, I I I I was I was really laughing when I heard him cry in a call, and I was like, no, you don't have to cry because. You guys said these things. Now it's fighting back at you guys. You know, Hope Zodema was once a senator and now a governor. You were once a governor and now you are a senator. He's the chief security officer of the state. So if you're going to do anything, you should seek his permission, irrespective of how big you think you are. He's the governor of the state. You expect him. If you feel maybe the act or the, the procedure with which he came to power, you do not like it because of the political clash or electoral a uh, 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 misunderstanding, he is still the governor, no matter how worse you think he may be. So you should respect him. So our leaders are not good example of anything good for us in our society. So whatever thing that is happening to him, he called for it. He befit, they all befit it. They all befit it. You know, so they, they have showed a lot of lasciviousness in terms of being responsible. Because what he did today was an act of irresponsible. He was very irresponsible. If you were a senator, I don't, I don't see reason why he should even drive the healers. Why should he enter the healers? What if there was a bomb planted inside that healers? What if there was a bomb planted inside that healers? What if there was something in that healers that may implicate him? His fingerprints on the steering and everything. Why would he do that? Just to show how big that you are the big man. Nobody can do you anything. You you once ruled because you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. To govern the state, you once ruled Imo State for eight years. So you're, you're a big man and you can do anything. Who is the governor? You can pocket the governor in your pocket because you are a senator. You know, all these things, when, when they do these things, they think maybe we are fools. We don't know what is happening. Or we, we don't see nothing. We see what is going on. And this is the law of karma coming upon them. If they have put things in place, if they have put things right, I don't think some of these nemesis catching up on them will catch up on them. You know, so if the governor has inquired that that property was not legitimately acquired, then what he should have done, having heard that that property has been under lock and key by the executive governor of the state, which he was once, and he demanded respect when he was a governor. So if another person has become a governor, you should respect the office. Even if you don't respect the man who was a demand, you should respect the office as a governor. You know, you should respect the office and go to his office and ask, hey, gentlemen, Mr. Governor, uh, I heard you locked up my my, my 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 building. He called it hotel. Some are calling it estate. I don't know, I don't understand anymore. Is it a hotel or an estate? If that is a hotel, if that's a hotel, then I wonder because <laughs> that's too big to be a hotel. So you should approach his office as a governor. You guys are politicians from the same political party. This is so alarming. APC, APC is having clashes. So it's it's really, really disgusting. Trust me. The politics these guys are playing, man, <laughs> it's really disgusting. They're just setting dynamite. Yeah, that's my saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ikenna. I appreciate your feedback on this.
Thank you. We'll, we'll keep watching. We'll be we'll be updating the page. We'll be uh, uh, you know updating the, the whole page and, and, and uh, the page on the situation as it unfolds. Uh, especially tomorrow, we'll see what happens within you know the course of the first twenty four hours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Next we have Stanley. Hi, Stanley. How are you? Yeah. How are you, Joy? You Wonderful. Right? Good. Yes, we are. What are your are thoughts you on the situation? Yeah, I'm calling you from uh, San Antonio, Texas, United States. Okay, good. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Imo State. Are you from Olu? Yep. Um, I, I'm, I'm really, really happy to see you um, host this program based on happening in my state. This past week has never been a good week for the entire citizens of Imo State, most especially we that live abroad. Uh, we see things that has never been happening in the state happen. And then we ask, where is the leadership? We, we have high expectations for our leaders. We expect, we expect them to live up to the expectation. But what we see is really, really disappointing. What really happened today is something that I don't know how to describe it. We have uh, rule of law and legal process to every disagreement. We expect somebody who ruled in my state for, four, for eight years to have known better. He should have understood that there is a legal process to any disagreement. We understand that that, that has, there has been a disagreement between him and Imo state government on those properties. There are ways, there are processes to do what? To seek the redress in the law court. That is my own opinion. He can do that. That property might legitimately belong to him. Nobody disputes that. But what I'm saying is that you don't take laws into your hand. You follow the due process of the law. By going to court, obtain a court injunction to open the property if there's need to open it. And more of this might even be settled without even going to court. Both of them are two party faithfuls. They belong to one political party. I have this conviction that they would have settled this matter out of court. That there is need, no need to go to court to settle this. If he has legal documents that shows that this property, he acquired them legitimately by his own, by his own personal fund. The property belongs to him. He was a governor for four years, for eight years. He has salaries. He, he probably had some properties he owned before he became governor. So nobody stops him from even having a property while he was a governor. So, but what we are saying as the citizens of Imo State, if there is an agreement between the government of Imo State and a citizen, moreover, he's a city senator, he represents Imo West. He is our senator. So we believe that he should have followed the legal due process to seek redress in court. Court would have given him an injunction to go and open the property. And then the, what the Imo State government will do, they will go back to court and obtain a counter injunction to either seal it back or Stop I'm them from it. Right. Yeah. That is what he would have done. But what they did today was, and a lot of people were injured, is really, really an ISO. We believe that the people whom we put at positions of authority should lead by example and show leadership. It, because we, the citizens, are feeling disappointed. For the past week, all that has been happening, the military aircraft hovering all over people being arrested and molested and maltreated. We see all that. This is not what we see in a democratic system of government. This is government of the people, and we are expected to be heard. We don't expect it to be treated like the second class citizen in our own state. That is really, really unfortunate. We believe that what happened today should be a lesson to every leader. Power transcends. You are in authority today, tomorrow you'll be a private citizen, and you should respect whoever is the, whoever is in the position of authority at the moment. If you don't respect him as a person, respect his office. That's the only way we can achieve peace in our state. Thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to contribute. I've been looking for an opportunity like this. I appreciate all that. Thank you, Stanley. It's nice to have you, and I hope that you will you participate in our future sessions. Thank okay. you for coming. Have a, a Thank good you. one. Okay, so we move over to Barrister Franklin. Uh, thank you for uh, holding. Versa Franklin Wako, how are you? Where are you joining us from? Okay, 
We are, fro the line is uh, is frozen. I hope that you are able to, okay, good. It's good to have some kind of legal perspective. We can't hear you now. Can you, um... mm -mm. no, we can't hear you. Why don't we do this? Can you exit the stream and come right back? We'll just, we'll leave the line open for you. We'll just, we'll play the intro and just come right back. So while uh, Barrister Franklin rejoins the stream, we'll um, take a, a short break, okay? For those who missed this. Okay, so Franklin, how are you? I think well, Barrister Franklin, we just uh, lost him. I guess it's a connection issue, so I'll just let you go first while we wait for him to rejoin the uh, stream. So, what are your thoughts on the situation in Imo State? Okay, good evening. Uh, my name is Franklin Tobechi. I'm calling from Lutania. So, what is happening in Imo State? Uh, you can see that all our politicians are selfish. They are greedy and they don't care for the citizens. They care for only their selves. You see, there are problems in Olo. They are killing people, government invading Olo. They don't talk about that. They are talking about their own selfish interests. Actually, they are bears of the same feather, Owele and the Hopus of them, they are the same. And the Uche Mwosu. I, I really I really like what is happening within them. You know, it's a good thing and it's a good development that they should or they, they should face the problem. Rochas himself actually brought a lot of problem in Imo State, which hope is not a, 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 a good at his own as he, at his own side. You know, but uh, in in this case, what I have to say is that it's a good thing and it's a problem. Let them face their problem. And uh, also, 
if the uh, hope was of Denma himself, he should stop invading him uh, uh, all old people, killing people and destroying houses, and they should fo focus on the uh, on on the government work he said to do. That's my own contribution in this uh, topic. Thank you very much for letting me speak. Thank you. Thank you, Franklin. Stay safe and stay warm in uh, Lithuania. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Okay, then. So that was uh, Franklin. And Franklin wants uh, the government to focus on the work that they were elected to do. And um, he seems happy. Uh, with what's unfolding really and, and you know and I think he expresses the, you know the, the the opinion of a lot of people in in the state as well but at the end of the day we are the ones who are going to suffer we are the ones who are deeply uh, going to suffer I personally feel that the government needs to communicate better and let the people know especially those in Olu the lawmakers in Olu should communicate to the citizens on what exactly is going on and why the military presence is there and you know what's uh, you know many many don't understand why so i think it, there needs to be that that communication needs to be uh, bridged so we will um continue to leave the line open for another half hour but uh, in the meantime we'll take you back to uh, Governor Richard Zakar, well, Senator Richard Zakarich's last, um, one of his last days in office and give you some kind of back, we'll do a troll back to when he was in office. Power is transient. And that's one of the things that our leaders in office should always remember. Um, you will not be the sheriff till the end, you know, forever. There will always be another sheriff in town. So, Whatever you do, make sure you have a plan for tomorrow and just do the right thing at all times. So let's do a throwback video for you. Oh, my pepper. Makarma, what is Hamo, Dikadambaka, Moiba? Jack, what job? I also hope is hopeless. Okay, my daughter, hope is hopeless. Only a winner, let's have one. I got it. Never make much, never make much. Only a winner, let's have one. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Madam Apata. Because hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. HF Wall HF. Today, in Hanewo Tembo, Kambwe, three days, Kane shift to governorship primaries from Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday. And thousands of people, over half a, a million people, 500,000 AQ in all our wars. In and Jinna. Gahana Kuna Land, they check Hanway Kate, the Hatcher. When Jagger, what time? Not Line, no boom, but you want to sing a Concord or Their own, their own mother broke a mother. Ah, bro, my car now. We're going to be done. Bamoto, there's a moment we have to go. Bamoto, I talk. And if you are going to go, you have to be popular. Popular. But where is popular? Popular here now. And then, and then, make popular now. Now, go there. This is ground. We get people. We get them. Now here I begin to tell them, say, <laughs> uh, nothing mega. Nothing mega. <laughs> and uh, and you see, it's in there with the power so. Ta, in your chimney. By five o'clock, electric is in Kokoto. Chairman of Bayako Dutton Primary, and I chose the actual. Yeah, the young bumpers. And I chose the way for the student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I out of twelve member committee, eight members no no in my secretary. How we say results sheet we collect all results nearly came yesterday. Ugumbo was four hundred and fifty-five thousand votes. First name we be nine thousand. Madam five thousand. H six hundred and something votes. Jam results. So now, Ubuntu Chenwosu is the APC candidate. I will have the song I work. How to be having any pressure? If you want to know, man, man, this is my happy accident. Mbo, mbo, shabu kwanisi. So, I'm happy now. I'm shopping George George Alan. I'm happy not to come to this this party. I just said to go a new movement. I was because of case uh, Like when I go vote protection unit. VPU. All the youths, all of you, must get involved. I don't. I because I got one loser, I got half. I got two half. And the whole person of is a wanted person. Yes. Yes. Court, yes. Court, yes. Court has declared him a wanted person. So, everyone now who opens, one of the police are going to get in there. All of us are going so, and I'll be home. I can force it. The federal house, as a separate. I get my time check. Oh, wait, rescue me. Show me another door. Because in that one, I will never from no child. We make sure must take. I told you, I'm not sure they make commission. I got what they actually work for teacher. In their hash or cash, you go go go. Yeah. I want to say, on a honor. I can only learn when one. Can I share? Can I like a chicken? Yeah, girl. As soon as I have go, I have go. I have go. So on the I want to thank you, my youths. For three days, you have shown me love. Come on, my man. Oh, oh, one I pass the money. My car no pass the money. My book there here. May the cash. Okay, so um, for those who are watching, I guess you will understand. I, this this was just a throwback video as to what transpired. Um, <laughs> what transpired 
during the uh, elections uh, leading up to Senator Hope Puzadim as emergency as governor. Um, yeah, there's always a background to every story. And, uh, but we will also take you back. Wahala for who will get data today. In fact, for the next few days, if you don't have data, wahala for you. Slide into our DM and let us see how we can help you. But we're going to take you back to a video of what you inspired today. And uh, I'm going to credit Darlington uh, Ibekwe for this the, the clip you're about to watch. Uh, when Governor uh, Senator Rocha Zokaracha uh, stormed the um, stormed the 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 what do you call it Royal Palm Estate today, the the whole before the whole place scattered. So um, hang tight and let's take you to that uh, video. Distinguished Senator Wilana Yorocha Sokoracha has just come to most states and uh, he is, yes, he is at uh, Royal Spring Palm, set to unseal, set to unseal Royal Spring Palm. Distinguished Senator is here. So if you're watching this, if you would like to, um, we're going to just let it run. It's a long video clip. Um, we will take calls in between, but just hang tight. Thank you. How can the governor see somebody from the property? Not that's what order. That's what order. You just come and lock somebody's property. And shooting sporadically. Open this place. Open this place. We are going to stop. This is against the law. This is against the law. We are not the first government to do this. We are here alive. Open the gate. Everybody was told to video. You cannot break my phone. You cannot try it. Every, even the police officer is videoing us. Why should the police officer video us? I will video. 
Your people came here to other day, you are shooting people. They were shooting people. The governor sent you to be shooting people. You came here to shoot people. Let everybody stay as in here. Beat people up and down. Stop this from this place. Draw your draw sheep from this place. Stop this. I get people saying you will shoot us if you come in. Police, they are the Look at the they are coming. We are coming. They carry everything. They we are stealing from this place. Police, they carry everything. They steal. Your people, we are shooting at us the other day here. I was here. Your people, we are shooting at us. You want us to respect him now, but you did not respect him, my people. It doesn't concern Yeah, we are shooting us. This police officers, we are shooting us. They were shooting here the other day. Let every single person stay in India. Took people's phones, laptops, televisions, phones, drinks. They were stealing from this place. Uniform men. We are stealing. There we are stealing. Now we are up and down. It's not the police. It's not the police that we need to. It's the government. Let the government come here. I <laughs> Why are you hiding your face? Look at this one. Did not be part of what you are doing. Don't hide your face. 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 Yes.
The vehicle has been rolled out. Somebody has no property. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't So yet again, yet again we are three at Spring Pam. Some days ago, um, hoodlums from the state government house besieged there. They shot at people, stole things. They stole things, stole televisions, phones, shot people, and everything. And today, His Excellency, distinguished Senator Wilana Yorochas, is in town, and he has unsealed, they legally sealed the. Uh, uh, property by the state government and uh, business will return to normal shortly. The police officers here said that they do not have a warrant, they have no papers, nothing at all. So they were. They came here for an illegal operation. They were here for an illegal oppression with what the police officers confirmed themselves. They were here for an illegal oppression. He has no other industry in If he doesn't have a other industry in Imote, he should hide his, his face in shame and allow somebody who has the to be. Let him come. Let him come with the police. No, we see. Gagwa no hope was a man. Huh? Yes, I'm like Yes, sir. Come on, now. This one. If you look around, you will see that what I'm really playing out to us during Governor Kocha's time. All right, so thank you all. Th that was just it. We had to just cut that off. And um, I'm going to open up the lines, and I think we have a call waiting. Uh, hi, uh, let's see. I think it's Obi, right? Obi, yeah. hi, how are you? What are your thoughts on what is, I mean, what transpired today in Emo State? I see two criminals fighting each other, you know, which as Okocha and uh, Dima, who is not even supposed to be a governor of the state, who was appointed by the Supreme Court, you know, was never elected by the people. A country where somebody who took foot in a position can, you know, 
they can appoint him as a governor. What there was first, second, third. Yeah, they cannot bring someone who took fourth position to make him a governor of a state, you know. This that was not what the people vote for. And I see Rochas. I would say that Rochas, I even though I don't like Rochas, but I would say Rochas alone, Rochas has already made. And for him to come home and invest back home, trying to do all these things, you know, I I support it for that, but them fighting themselves, uh, you know, Rochas was made already before he became a governor. But who opposed Odima? I would say that who opposed Odima is from the same local government with me. You understand? I'm from the same local government with him. Look at Hope House, very close, but I will not support him because of what he's doing or because he's the governor or how I know how he came in to become the governor of the state. So I won't say because of that, I say whatever he's doing, he's doing it right. And they should know, they should come between themselves and know how to solve this uh, issue. So it will result to, so it will result, result to something that will cause problem to the state. Imo State had been a peaceful state, the APC coming, came into Imo State to destroy that state. So what is happening in Imo State now is not something that we support. So I'm just begging the two of them to just come, let them know what to do and bring peace back to the state. I'm, I'm not in support of all these things that are happening. Our state has become a, a talk of the, you know, the town everywhere in most state, every time in most state. In most state was never like this. In most state was a very peaceful state. But since the approach has brought the APC into that state, the, that state has never been the same again. Now, it's still that approach, the same, the same issue, the same thing that happened before, that is still what I is bringing that state to be like, in most state has not been as city, it's now a, a war zone. The state was never like this. So if we're having problem in that state, if anything happens, we're going to hold Rochas and uh, hope who's or Dima responsible. They have to change their way and make things right. That's what I have to say. Please. I'm at work. Just let me just, you know, say this. Well, thank you for taking our time from your work schedule to, to air your views on the issues going on in our home state, Imo State. Thank you, Obi. It's always good to have you on the show. All right. Thank you. Take care. All right. So that was uh, Obi who called in to... Um, Express. So there is a link in the pin, in, in, pinned in the comment section. We will be uh, ending the stream soon. So uh, unfortunately, that is it. So what the the last video we showed here was just to give you a background of the you know what happened earlier on, before the Imo State government came in and uh, uh, arrested. Uh, Senator Richard Okoracha taking him on to the state CID. Um, again, I do not know, and I am yet to confirm that he has regained his uh, his freedom. And uh, also, I do not know if the police uh, grants bail on, on on the weekend or like on a Sunday. So I'm not really sure what's going on. We do hope that you know he will be accorded some kind of privilege, you know, due to his office and. Um, release i believe that this kind of things can be sorted in the interest of the state and uh, you know when when two elephants fight it is the ground that suffers what we do want is for them to you know communicate to the citizens and let them know exactly what the situation is for those who missed out what exactly uh, transpired today um what happened we'll be more than happy to uh you know just do a throwback for you we'll be right back
Okay, so we have Osinachi. Hello, Osinachi, where are you calling from? What are your thoughts on the situation at home in Imo State? We can't hear you. Okay, your line is frozen. Uh, okay, it's it's opening now. So go ahead and uh, uh, leave your comment. What are your thoughts on the situation today? Your microphone is still muted. Concerning the issue ahead happening and, uh, in we, uh, we didn't, Okay. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Okay, I think well, I'm going to have can you do you something. Uh, do, let's do something. Why don't you exit the stream and, and call and, and, and call in again? Because it's breaking up and we'd like to have a smooth conversation with you. Why don't you hit exit and come right back? Let's take another call. Let's Can you hit hear me? Exit. No, it's not smooth. Why don't you exit and come right back? Come back again. Hello. Anderson, Namdi, how are you and where are you calling from? Good evening. Uh, great. Uh, Your thoughts, I'm please. I'm calling from Abuja, where I'm exit precisely. Okay. Let's hear from you. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you read me? We can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Hello, can you read me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, concerning the sudden situation happening in Imo State, the Rasmataz, I mean, I'm asked by the mob mental syndrome and the half enlightenment by uh, people that should know and they be acting this way and be dragging him states to a world fora which is undue and uncalled for this thing the governor started is just not taking him state anywhere for christ's sake in a democratic setting without court's orders you have the right to seal properties you came you've been destroying for public properties for nothing said, I just heard the story. They said that place is a water with, and I'm wondering, for Christ's sake, what should that be? Things should be done right. You don't take the crisis in the party, then bring it into the state. Kundabwe, what I said today was just a display of rascality, and it's not going to take us anywhere in this age and this time. And people that should know will be acting like the broads. I'm so saddened that Imo State now is now a. I think we're, we're losing you there. Can you read me? Go ahead, sure, continue. So, so I'm, I'm just so sudden. I mean, I, I believe the party, the APC and everything, should call the governor of Imo State and everything and advise him. Because from what is happening, look at the situation happening in Oro. Look at the situation also happening here. I mean, what kind of rascality is this? I mean, he's on call for. He has better be called to order before he dragged the state into flames. So, so you think it's not necessarily? It's a democratic not necessarily uh, you think it's it's not necessarily about uh, the property itself. It's just because of the end party fighting between the governor and the senator, right? That is just what is happening. That is just what it is. It's just, it's just, it's just a self-sentimental issue. That's all I see here. And not for the development of the states. I saw the last time you on, on public television, a property, an infrastructure, for no just reason. For Christ's sake. So that means if what tomorrow happens to assume power in the state of affairs of this country, 
like pro properties are being seized by EFCs and being handed over to ministries. So that means you start demolishing co uh, properties in the country. Is that what he's telling him, Molite? I find it's real on court, and it should be called to order. It's so wrong. How did it go in this time and in this era? And you go to look someone's property and everything without a court order? And our, our security is being paid by taxpayer money are being mobilized against this to carry out such illegality? I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that in this country, you must say that leads to, whenever it comes to anything that has to do with education, is being dragged like right. puppet in the street for the world to see. It's so shameful and so, so, so pained. I believe it should be called to order. Thank you so much, Anderson. I appreciate your input. Thank you. Okay, and next we have Osinachi. Osinachi, we hope that your connection is much better this time around. Uh, let's see. And for those in the audience, if you would like to call in and have your say uh, as we round up this conversation, uh, we ask that you use the, 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 uh, the link that's pinned in the comment section. We are struggling to connect. Osinachi, we are trying to connect with you. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. We're gonna just uh, move on to, uh, let's see, let's see, Paul. Okay, so Paul, it's the same thing too. Not sure what's going on, if it's the strength of our stream here. Um, we can't connect with you either. Let's see. All right, well, tonight let's try you one more time. Okay, there we go. All right, go ahead, Osinachi. Good, Good evening. Yeah, my my view concerns what is happening in in Imo State, most especially and in Olu, precisely. Um, this is about what uh, like this is their their plan of removing um, Emeka in Hedua. What is happening in Olona, this is their plan, already planned. That's why they remove Emeka in Hedua. Concerning what is happening to Rochas and uh, Governor Hopu Zodima, I'm going to hear when I say, I can't show my beyond. What Rochas sold is what he's reaping now. He's reaping what he has, the evil he has sold, it does what is reaping now. So the the law of karma is working on 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 on, 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 on the life of Richards. So he should go through that mess. I, they have disgraced him enough today, and more to come. Every evil hand, every evil that man and man so anyhow you 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 dress your bed so you rely on it. They have so many evils in Imo State. One by one, they are going to repeat. Same to Zodema, his own time is coming. He's going to repeat. So that's my contribution. So he, they have put him in pain today. He will, re he will receive more of it. For the fact that he has sold evil, he will receive evil and evil and evil. So that's my own contribution. Thank you. Thank you so much, Osinachi. We look forward to connecting with you again. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Have a good evening. Same to you, please. Thank you. Okay, next, I think next we have, um, Paul, we don't see you. I think we'll just go over to Prince. If you are in the, in, in the, in the, in the queue, please turn on your camera so that we can um, screen you before we bring you live. So next we have Prince. Okay. Okay, Kennedy. Hi, Kennedy. How are you? Yeah. Good morning from here. Good morning. Where are you? Yeah, I'm calling from New Delhi. Oh, okay. Good to connect with you. What are your thoughts on the situation? Mm, the, uh, the first call I think I have said uh, have touched so many places because both uh, Rochas and the uh, Hope they are, they are two criminals fighting each other. That is number one. And uh, 
I support hope somehow to, re to recover Imo State uh, property because if Rochas can, uh, because according to details, it's like the place, uh, the, ro uh, those, the place belongs to the wife. So I don't know where, even if they are rich, I don't know how much they acquire such wealth to have as, as big as such place for their own self, even when the place is built with a government uh, Imo State uh, uh, form. So, but the only thing I would have said is that it is best for him to get it uh, legitimately, maybe getting court orders and other things before he can get the place sealed. But using talks and uh, all this, uh, using talks sealing the place makes it illegitimate. So that is the only place I would talks have suggested. Using talks to unseal the place or using talks to seal up the place? The, the government the government sealed the place through yeah, the Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, sorry. I mean using talks to seal the place. And uh, Rochas himself using talks to unseal the place. Both of them are doing the same thing. No, let, let me let me correct that. What the what had happened was that the government, and I think we'll, we'll just uh, put up the video for for those who are watching to see how it unfolded. The government actually used the uh, commissioner, the Ministry for Lands, uh, the Ministry of Lands, and the Commissioner for Lands um, was the one who um, sealed off the place in in daylight. Okay. We're actually we're going to put, put that uh, video up before on, we go. Uh, based on uh, based on the reports, because there was a committee, I think there was a committee for mm -hmm. for, Absolutely. Uh, for recovery. But without getting caught in, in injection, is it legitimate to get the place sealed through the police? I ask. I can't comment on that, really. Uh, I can't okay. comment so, for the state government. So for or, me. Yeah, so for know, me, see, sealing the place, I mean, I am 100% in support of sealing the place because everyone knows that the, all these properties are built with Imo State money. Even if they were rich before they get to the uh, Douglas house. But most of the properties they acquire, they cannot even explain how they got such funds, uh, such money to acquire those properties because almost uh, uh, Rochas... Uh, Rochas, uh, what will like, empire or dynasty or what will I call it? They have so many properties, you know, in in Imo, around Imo State. I support them for bringing development back home, but do the right thing, just like a former governor, like uh, uh, Mbakwe built Imo, Imo State um, um, uh, Airport as Imo State property. He built uh, Imo State or both or so many things in Imo State built by Mbakwe. He did not build it for the those properties to bear his name, right? He built those things as a governor. Then while living in of while living the while living office, then he keep it for the state, right? They let the state benefit from those properties. So in as much as I I, I support Rochas for bringing instead of because most politicians go out go abroad and invest those stolen funds. So I support him in one way for bringing this development to Imo State. But do the right thing. Doing the right thing is acknowledging that those properties belong to Imo State, not you personally. Then, as for Hope, Hope is a criminal. He is not doing anything useful to Imo State. After all, he get to he gets into that office illegitimately. So there is nothing he is doing, killing people there. Whatever that man is doing in Imo State, I'm not in support of it. But this type, in terms of this uh, sealing the place, I support it. But let him do it legitimately and recover those things. And another thing is that, another thing I, I keep asking, is he doing it to recover it to Imo State or, uh, or is he doing it for his own personal interest? That is another question. Because most of them, are, they are not fighting this thing for ordinary, for ordinary man in the street. So I, uh, the, another question I ask you, is Hope trying to recover these properties now and hand them over to Imo State? Or is him trying to fight Rochas because of their inner issues and all these things? That is another question. So these people, the first caller has said it, there are two criminals. The only people I blame is those 
people, those people that go there and get injured and die for politicians, these people know what they don't want dying for. Because in next two, in next two, before 2023, these two people, there is possibility they can even be in the same party, drinking the same wine and the same and and, and saying the same thing again. But those people that died, died for nothing. If Nigeria will begin to have sense, let them stop sacrificing their lives and leaving their world, their loved ones in pain because of those useless, wicked politicians that doesn't care about them because of the peanuts they are getting from them. You will be giving hundred thousand or two hundred thousand naira. You will go and be break. You will go. You will go and be standing in 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 front of bullets because of a politician that will not even come to the barrier. They are useless. The, 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 if the, the earlier Nigerian youth start having sense that those politicians doesn't care for them, they are only fighting for their selfish interests. If Nigerian, if Nigerian youth can get this thing into their scope, it will be better for them. How, I mean, how can you go and die for a politician that doesn't care about you? Both of them, they are fighting for their own personal interest. If let me say it, they are fighting for their own personal interest. So why are you going to die for them? What about their source? Their source is in United States, UK, all these places. Going one of the best universities in the world, you will be going there and doing camera. Small time bullet will shoot you. You will die for nothing. He will not even attend the barrier. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's very crazy, honestly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> These people are crazy. <laughs> okay. Please come and be going. Please let me take the next call. <laughs> thank All you. Right, I want to thank you for joining. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thank you, Kennedy. Take care. See you again. Yeah, thank you. All righty, guys. So if you want to call in and have your say, there's a link in the comment section. It's pinned at the top of the screen. So um, at the top of the screen. So you can use that link to join in. And we're going to move over to, to, to Prince. And we have Prince, uh, Kingsley, and Paul. So uh, Prince, welcome to the program. Your thoughts on the situation. Um, good evening, good morning, afternoon, wherever you yeah. are. Yeah, my name is here. Well, uh, from where? Where are you? Where are you firing from? Yeah, I'm calling from New Delhi, also. Like, the okay, last it's okay, funny because the last call I almost said everything I wanted to say. So, <laughs> you know, absolutely, go ahead. But, um, I would like to start by um, saying thank you so much for doing um, that video you pitched. I think that video gave uh, my background to everything we are discussing tonight. Um, he, when you see two people um, fighting uh, themselves in this kind of situation, I think something must have um, transpired. Maybe the normal masses wouldn't understand it, but when you read um, that rollback video, at least to give everybody um, good understanding of what is really happening. And Absolutely. I watched a video last week. I watched a video last week when um, Rudy himself said, and I quote, <laughs> so I like watching people. He said that um, in the next four years, when ask this government the achievements, they will be like, um, our achievements were able to fight us, we were able to fight us. And I think that is what is happening. They are able to fight us and they are winning. Um, when you are Government like uh, maybe an oligarch, uh, if I might be that way, you don't expect to do it and go scot free. Some other persons will come tomorrow and they will do their own. Because when you do your own, you step on so many people and you didn't even care, you never cared about what's going to happen. You did it and you wanted to even install your own in law as um, the governor against the wishes of every other person. So, you know. When those were happening during the primaries and everything, you would expect something like this to happen. So hope is all coming to fight racers and racers try to defend himself, coming all the way from Abuja down to Imo State to defend himself by himself, even without the right channel to follow. It's laughable. 
looking at two people who are supposed to be ruling their or leading their state in the right path, trying to do power puzzle who is most and uh, it's funny and it's laughable. I think that describes what Nigerian politics is all about. And it's laughable. Uh, sometimes someone will begin to feel like I want to do whatever being a Nigerian seriously. Because if you go out and you see how politics is being done, you, you don't see this kind of thing. Even, okay, fine, someone sealed your property, your claimed property, because we are not sure who owns the property yet. Because you built it when you were in office. And to everybody's um, greatest surprise, you built it in your wife's home. So when the wife get the money to build such um, edifice or it, whatever, your wife was never a political um, appointee or whatever. She was just the wife of the governor. So she got this massive fund to purchase the land, to acquire the land, build um, such uh, estates, marvelous estates or whatever. So the governor is right to seal the place until it is proven beyond every reasonable doubt that it belongs to the wife. So for me, I think what we have done is now someone has sealed the governor, not someone, the government of the state has sealed your problem. What you do is you go to the court, not coming to break it by yourself. You being an ex governor, knowing what the law says about it, and you and it's the powers public. that come with the office of uh, being an executive governor. Yeah. Past is the chief governor of the state, so you should know what the law says about that. Not uh, uh, um, taking laws into your so I thought his arrest, even it means they are going to detain him for the rest of the I don't care. He, he is what he deserves for himself, and um, that is Lai Mohammed was in uh, the background saying the talks they were shooting and they were doing that. I don't know where you got that one from. I think there is recruiting that one to be the next Lai Mohammed. In Nigeria. So, however, he got what he deserves. That's my point. Because he did his own, nobody interfered. So, thank you so much for the good job you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for, for calling into this area of views and stay safe. Uh, yeah. Stay safe, Prince. All right, now take uh, care. Okay. See you again. All right, so we do have Omo um, Jesu in queue. Omo um, Jesu, I'm going to get right to you. Uh, give us one quick second. So for those who are just joining in, uh, if you would like to call in, we're going to be rounding up shortly. There is a link pinned in the comment section. Please use that to call into the program and have your say. But uh, let's just do a quick uh, 60 seconds uh, throwback to you know, uh, uh, to, you know, what happened. I'm a Jason, we'll be right back with you. My people, my people. I want to hear my time. I Hope is hopeless. Okay, my job is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Um, Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is hopeless. Hope is Hope is Three days. Can they shift to governorship primaries from Saturday to Sunday, Sunday to Monday, Monday to Tuesday? And thousands of people, over half a, a million people, 500,000 AQ in all our wards. Joe Wine. Benjaga, what a not like no boom, but you want to sing a concord or talk. They are on their own mother, broke a mother. Oh, I broke my car now. We're gonna be done of Bamoto. There's a moment where I talk. 
And if you are going to has had a popular, popular. But where is popular? Popular here now. And then and then make popular. All right, guys. So that was a throwback to the you know some of the final days of uh, Senator Governor Senator Richard Okaracha as governor, and that gives you kind of an insight to the bad blood that was brewing between the two of them. As you know, um, now Governor Hopo Zadema was the uh, he came fourth in that election. Uh, Honorable Uche Ngosu was second, but he was the candidate of the. Um, What's the name of the party again? Was it uh, um, Action Alliance? Alliance? Help me out. Uh, whatever party that was on. Uh, gosh, how can that how can that elude me? But anyway, whatever party he was on, he was the he was the candidate uh, who ranked second. Help me out here. Sorry, was it? <laughs> hey, voila. Okay, let's go. So either way, he he came second. Emeka uh, Ihejoha uh, was declared winner. PDP, and then. Um, Action Alliance, I'll, I'll take that. B, yeah, AA, and then I uh, went on to that was two A. I'm hearing, I'm seeing AC in the comments. AA, AD, AC. <laughs> okay, well, whatever it was, well, AA, thank you. Action Alliance was, um, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. It's funny how we forget all these things, and it's just been uh, less than two years in full. So, yeah, Action Alliance was the second, he was the second runner up, and then um, we had uh, Ara Rume, and then we had uh, Senator Hope Uzadima because he was at the Senate. Well, he had left the you know, uh, left the Senate, and that's where we were. And so, the Abragatabra happened at the, at the su Supreme Court, and this is where we are today. But anyway, let's go to the, 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 the call lines and let's keep people waiting. Paul Chuku, you are holding. We don't see you on camera. We do ask that you approve for the, you know, uh, allow the camera to, you know, to capture so that we can get you. But I'm going to go to Oma Jason, who has been waiting. And then Abe, you are next. All righty. Thank you for joining. Oma yeah, Jason, your thoughts, please. How are you? And thank you for holding. Yes, I'm uh, calling out the way from the United States. Okay, good. Can you speak up a little bit louder? We can barely hear you. You know the way from the United States. And, uh, okay. I first want to correct the impression that people are giving that uh, he's not the right person to be the governor of the state because I still believe the same court we are saying right now that Rocha should have run to is the same court that made that man the governor. So if we believe in the court as the right place which I ought to have gone, number one, we shall accept the fact that the court made him to sit in that position. And for constitutional right, the government has a right to steal the property. The mistake the senator made was to go and break in. That's breaking. So it was seed. I watched the video where they sealed it. It was it was and they, they were press people there. They they, they it was it, it was carried life when they were still in the place as if they knew something of this nature will happen. But I don't understand where people keep addressing the people with the government as in South. Or they call them uh, South uh, Woodlumps. No, the video, the guy that was making the video when uh, Rochas was arrested, I guess he was he has his own. He has his own uh, stand in one of the parties. And the way the guy was even talking, you know quite all right that the guy was, uh, on the, uh, was not on the side of the governor. I don't want to know what the governor has done in the past. Like, if you, were, if, you say, if, you, if you have read my comments that I've been dropping things, I was like, I don't, I don't want to know what the governor has done. I don't like people coming from a certain perspective. There's a perspective so many people have been coming things that I don't like. If there's an issue like this, let's be neutral. Let's speak back. What Rochas did was wrong. When Rochas was the governor of that state, nobody can try such. The only thing he ought to have done was to run to the court. If it was even better for him, it was, a, it was a fair fight. If the man had done it unconstitutionally, you run to court immediately. That will give you that will give you an answer. If you know that the man has done something wrong, why don't you capitalize on that? Two wrongs cannot make a right. Yes, yeah, capitalize on the lapses of the man by stealing the place without a court order. We are even saying he still the place without a court order. Is he supposed to place the court order at the gate? And I still believe that as a 
as a as a department in the government the, the, the man that came there as the the people that came to see the place but the fact that they are acting under a constitution the constitution still covered is, is part of the assignment if it was okay why not let's talk about the local shops they lock up even during the sanit during sanitation they just come and lock your shop if you don't sweep they lock it and you go to their office to negotiate or discuss and uh, and then uh, pay your fine and they just have to open the place for you again why don't they, 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 they they've not destroyed the place they always steal the place all you needed to do was to go to the governor's office or visit the office of the people that steal the place and you steal the estate why did you steal it then you discuss with them it's just because you want to flip muscles you want to use power you want to use force that's why he came with people and they wanted to just break it and break in and he did he got what he deserved yes because uh, the man is the governor of the state so and there can only be one governor huh there can only be one governor in the state yes there can only be one governor he's the governor of this of the state a lot of people that are saying the man is not working the man is not this please i don't know the i know the i know the i know the i don't i won't say i don't know i know their perspective and i know the angle they are coming from they should please don't always judge everything with that and place they are coming from with that agitation mind. If you keep judging everything with the agitation mind, even if they're doing the agitation against your own people that you should be your people, now you are judging with the agitation mind. And how can somebody say the governor is a criminal, this one is a criminal, this one is this, this one is that, this one is not supposed, this one is the two criminals are fighting themselves? It's wrong. How do you call your governor a criminal? As far as I'm correct, as far as today is your governor. You cannot be calling your governor a criminal. So that's why they were addressing the people that came to the governor, the people that came for the governor as Udlong, of which they were people working for the government. I saw the video where that guy was shouting, the certain man came with a thug, all the thugs are here, they are shooting. You know, they are, so an SSS officer that is not wearing uniform, you not call him thug. But the man that came to break in was you were protecting him, which was wrong. And I did, that what that they did even arrested what, or what ought to have happened today. If Rochas was not taken away from that place, more things would have happened in that place today that people that, that, may, that, may, that, that, may, that may cause a lot of damage even to that estate. That thing they did control the situation. I just believe they not use that stuff to, to control the situation. Not that they really wanted to really affect, not that they really wanted to arrest them. If they don't do that, probably today we will be recording death today. But we just thank God that the situation was put under control and uh, the former governor has learned his lesson. He should learn okay. to follow the due process to do anything. And please, everybody who comes talking, saying the, the governor is a criminal, the governor is not supposed to be there, please, it's the court. If as I'm here, if court decides to say they should come and bring me to be the governor of that state, you can't, you don't know, you have anything to say. Court is the final, state, has the final say. As long as Alrighty court, then. Thank you, you so much. But I thank you for, for calling in to share your views. It's always good to hear different perspectives and I, I do appreciate your input. Thank Probably. you and have a wonderful evening. Probably. See you next time. All right, next we move over to Abe. Hi, Abe, how are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Your thoughts, please. Yeah, um, thank you for doing a good job. Um, for me, I think the last caller has covered everything I want to say, but uh, I would just like to add to what he has said. Uh, for me, I think the government is going doing this thing the wrong way. They should have secured a court order to save that place. With that, I don't think Okorocha will come there to misbehave today. Yes, the people are not happy. They don't like Okorocha. They don't like uh, Opus or Dema. Fine, but don't be too emotional in this uh, situation. We should not be too emotional. Because as it is today, if Okorocha, you know Nigerian courts, if Okorocha goes to court today, of course, we will surely secure judgment because the government itself is not interested in recovering that place legally. If they are interested in uh, getting back that place to the people legally, 
they would they, they, they i believe they should have gone to court to get a court order but for them to be using power force because to the way i see things is like you use them these guys are friends before the next election you see them drinking together so if truly the government if truly hope uh hope is or Dima is interested in a governor place for the people it should secure court order i think that's the right thing to do and okurucha will not come there because now the, the government is using yes we may be saying the government is not using talks because it's in power, but they are using government talks. The government talks are like police, the army, they are, as, as far as I'm concerned, I see them like government talks. If you are not following the due process. So I will advise the government to secure a court order to see that place and recover that property to the states. I think that will settle the issue peacefully. Thank you. Thank you so much, Abe. All right. Thank you for sharing your views. Bye-bye. Okay, that was Abe. Abe, you know, so I think two two things. People are feeling that there was no court order. We're gonna go. We're gonna get you a video from the ceiling. That 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 property in question was sealed on the nineteenth. For those who are just joining, and let's drop a video for you. But we're gonna go into the archives and bring you that um, that property. Um, the, the the video from when that property was sealed. So hang tight, but well, let's take you to that. Um, let's take you to the, um, you know, to just give you a background of the crinkum crackum that happened. Okay, and we'll be right back. And we're just playing this back for those who are just joining our stream today. And if you'd like to call in and stay in queue, there is a link pinned in the comment section. We'll be right back. Let's go, let's go. 
Okay. So now, uh, for those who are just coming in, that was basically what happened earlier today. But I did say before we went on this quick break that uh, the state government had sealed that property. We do have the video for you, and I'll be uh, sharing that. We are coming to a soft close for uh, the day. It's been almost uh, an hour, 30 minutes um, into the program, but we're going to be coming to a close uh, for this. So let me go ahead and, and slot that video in just to just give you a background as to uh, what transpired today. Um, sorry, on Friday the 19th. Okay, so just hang tight and uh, we'll be right back. Yeah. Our government. Yeah. And uh, it has been sealed for good. The government has taken over. Are we ready? Yeah, of course. Well, this is the last gate for the Royal Bank Spring Gate team, which has been recovered by the state government. Following the directions of the government, this evidence is distributed on an open space and this space that violated the terms of the Ibo State uh, government to the master plan. Today we have sealed it. No member of the public is allowed to enter this premises. No business is to be carried on here until the state government decides what is to be done with this premises. The recommendation of the Commission of Inquiry and the directions of the government is that government should recover this pro property for public purpose. That is what we have done now. To God be the glory. That was what transpired on the um, on Friday the 19th. We have a call in queue. I'm going to go over to Chris Okoye in just a little bit. And if you are in queue, I see that we have a uh, we have Abe as well. I think okay, Abe Abe has just uh, also spoken. So we're going to go over to the queue. If you would like to have um, your say on this issue, we ask that you please uh, join in and by uh, using that. Uh, you know, there is a link pinned in the comment section. So please go ahead and, and have your say through that link. Um, but let's go over to Mr. Chris Okoye in the comment, in the, in, in the queue. Hi, Joy. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you. Good evening. Good afternoon, Good wherever evening. you are. Okay. Thank you. Um, thanks for your update and your um, on-time reporting, you know? Um, I first saw that incident, what happened at uh, Imo State. It's really, really so sad that people who are supposed to be the lawmakers take, you know, things into their hands and they think that uh, they are just untouchable, they are above the law. Okocha was a governor before. She knows, he knows the, the rules. He knows the procedure. If you think that um, the Imo State governor doesn't have the authority to sell up the place. He knows what to do. He should go to court. But thinking that because he's a senator, he's above every other person in the state, bringing his talks to the place and breaking a seal, he knows what it is, you know? And I hope that Amos State Governor would exercise his full authority and set a precedent so that other people will know that nobody's above the law in Nigeria. Being a senator doesn't make you above the law. You should live by the law. They are the lawmakers. And Okocha has done a whole lot of shady things in that country. Look at that man. Look at those, the estate. Can the wife tell us where the money came from? What does she do? How much does she pay as a tax? These are all the questions that need to be asked. Let's know what is the source of this income, you know? If you think your wife owned that place, legitimately and legally, bring out her source of income, let the people from Imo State see, okay, look at what she does, look at where the money came from. Secondly, let's see how much she pays as tax. Because you can't own such mind thing. Just one, in, just governor's wife. She never had those things before the husband became a governor. All of a sudden, within eight years, you can put up such big structure in Imo State, you know? I really, sometimes when I see it, you know, it's sick, you know, I feel so sad that 
these people have messed up that country really, really bad. And the youths mm -hmm. that their future are being, you know, who don't seem to have future again in Nigeria. The youths are the one even helping him to perpetrate all these things. This is your future right there. This is the money that would have been used to put up jobs, create employment, fix the roads, infrastructures in your state. Be just because maybe he gave you 10,000, 20,000, you turn your, you turn yourself as a thug. You put your future at stake, regardless of this is not only your future, your kids' future. The whole emo lights, you know, I just wait to see what's gonna be the outcome of this. If the governor can't do anything about this this time around, then that means he's not a governor. What are you expecting him to do? Um, for him to break that, he, if he trespassed, he trespassed that place. For now, it's the crime. They sealed up the place. There's an official seal there. Whoever break and went into, if they can just pick up everybody that stepped their leg into that premises, just like what happened in the capital here in the US, whoever went in there had no legal right to be in there because it's sealed. They should all be brought to book to say, why? what right do you have to break a government seal and go, it's a trespass. Then Okorosha also, he said uh, he destroyed, he, he damaged the uh, for government property because the key, the chain there, you know, it's a property of the government. So it has its own uh, um, uh, a penalty, you know. But I know at the end of the day, people from Abuja will start calling, you know. Yeah, they want to handle it. Okay, it's a party thing. APC, APC. Oh, he's a senator. Now he's above the law. Then, you know, some person will do it tomorrow. But if they know that this is a sale, here in the United States, a place is a, they, like they have, okay, a crime scene. Even if it's your compound, it's a crime scene. And it's state. You cannot venture to go there. Not unless, not a, breaking the sale. It has a sale. It has, it has a lock. There was a police person there. I saw there's a police vehicle blocking that area. He went in that place, had this man push the vehicle out. I mean, just to show, show that, oh, no, I was a governor before, and I'm a senator, so you can't do me anything, you know? If I were that, if I were the governor, if if there's a jail time, he'll, go, he'll, he'll save the jail time. If there's a jail time of six months, I'll make sure he goes to jail for six months. Next time, you know, every other person will know that, I mean, the mere fact that you're a senator or in a place of authority doesn't mean that you're above the law. No, that is Absolutely. Nigeria for you, Joy. Absolutely. That's no no citizen should be above the law. Even in the United States, the president yes. of the country is not above the law. Above the law. Uh, senators, governors, uh, every pub no public official is above the law. So um, it should apply across board. And, and our leaders in Nigeria should uh, begin to... Uh, understand that they are not above the law. We need to change that narrative. So, um, yeah, it, it's still shaping up. We hope that in the next uh, 24 hours, we would have a clearer picture. We hope to come back live tomorrow and, um, and continue the conversation based on the unfolding events overnight. I did state earlier that I wasn't sure if uh, Senator Rocha Zakaracha gained his freedom as at the time we uh, started live, we've been live here for almost going on two hours now, or if the uh, police had, um, you know, did grant bail over the, you know, over the weekend, this is a Sunday. Um, he is a servant Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So I'm not sure if things work differently for people of that, of that status in Nigeria. If I, if I may ask you, but you might have a better knowledge about that. Do, do they have immunity as a senator not to, you know, to do such thing and not be arrested or, you know? No, because if, if, there, was, if, if the there was something, some immunity of that nature, that he would not have been arrested in the first place, so he would not have been detained. But he was detained, and we just don't want to, you know, speak uh, based on um, assumptions. We just, I would like to allow things to unfold and uh, let's see, hopefully we'll be back here again, have that conversation and see yeah. what to, you know, what the, what the situation um, shapes up to, shapes out to be by tomorrow. Yeah. And not only, 
not only roachers, every individual that stepped their legs, they have footage of everybody that went in there. Everybody that stepped their leg in there should have known that this place is sealed by the government. So, and if it's sealed, you know, you don't have any rights. Even if it's your property, if something happens here in the United States and the cops come here and seal up my house, despite it's my house, I don't have any right to that house until it's unsealed. Absolutely. So, then there's a question as to was there a court yeah. order to seal that property? Uh, did the government have a court order to seal that property? It looks like both parties did not even have court orders at all. So, but again, the governor is the chief security officer of the state, which is a court chair, was in, um, in government. He was the head of the state, so he understands. And like one of the callers said, you know, he nobody would have done that or dared to do that when he was, a, yeah, when he was a governor. So, um, right. let's see yeah. how things unfold. You know, I, I want to say thank you for, for sharing your views. We'll definitely be back here tomorrow and let's see how you know, definitely things <laughs> things shape out by, by, by tomorrow evening, Nigerian time. But we'll be back, yeah. we'll keep an eye on it. It's the first time, you know, it's it's quite humiliating, but you know, it is it is what it is. No citizen of the state, no citizen of the country is above the law. I think immunity is only reserved for governors and um, the president. I don't, senators are, are don't have that immunity at all. That's why we had a senator who was sent to Kujie, um not too long ago. So uh, we've also had Senator Ochi Ozokalo who was remanded in uh, Kujie at some point. So senators are not immune to persecution uh, of the law. So keep an eye on it. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Joy. Keep up the good work. Huh? Thank you. I thank you. Have a good one. Yeah. Okay. So we are coming to a soft close. I've said that uh, a ton of time. So let's take some of your comments. Let's see. Uh, Chi Ek, let's see. Let's let's go to you. Chi Ek says, uh, "Was there any justification from the court to seal the premises? The court order was not there, so he has every authority to unseal the place because the property belongs to him and his wife." All right, Okaracha uh, Fidel. Marvelous says Akarasha was arrested and was in police custody with his personal ex escort. Okay. The same time. Who's fooling who? If I say let things be, be done following due process, well, let's work. Uh, cautiously, Emo is too fragile for this type of issue at this time. And I totally agree. All right, so we'll go to the call line. Um, we have Chooks on hold. Chooks, if you're on hold, you're trying to join in. We cannot get you on without your camera. We do ask that you please turn on your camera if you would like to join or have your say on. We, we can't uh, get you on without the camera uh, playing, you know, without your camera on. All right, so let's see all the comments here. It's a ton. I know that we're also streaming. Now we are streaming on YouTube as well, on Emil State Blog, on YouTube, uh, the YouTube channel. So please subscribe. We are also, of course, on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on everywhere. Uh, every social media handle you can think of, every social media uh, outlet, we are live. But of course, this is the main platform and on Citizens Forum. Citizens Forum here and on Citizens Forum on the Instagram page. So please do feel free to connect with us. So. All right, guys, so for those who are just joining in, we've spent the last almost two hours discussing uh, Governor Richards, Senator Richards uh incident uh, uh, or uh, encounter in Imo State today, where he went to um, claim his property, <laughs> which was sealed by the state government. And uh, he ended up being uh, detained, arrested, and detained at the state CID. So we'll get to Chooks, and we ask that you please sit upright in uh, so that just follow the instructions. We ask that you please sit upright, a camera angle, that way we can, um, this is an international platform, um, we can have you laying in bed while you come on live. So let's uh, get to the phone lines and see who's next. 
All right. So please put on appropriate clothing. That way you can rejoin the show. Thank you. Great. So if you have to call in at any time, make sure that you are properly dressed. We do not bring in people with tank tops. Please we do that because there are other people from all over the world and you don't know who's watching you. And of course, we, because we, 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 we propose our videos, it's important. You never know which, which session is going to be put out. So it's important you please put yourself together before package yourself before you come, you know, you hit, you know, you come on camera, the internet never forgets. So please, would you ask you to, to uh, arrange yourself before you, you, you hit that connect button. Okay, so Prince Elliot, Prince Elliot says the governor, the let's see, Prince what was your comment? Prince says the governor has no right to sell the property without the court order. Mm -hmm. Mazi okay, you, you're saying that it's the same people that fight the masses and humiliate them are now fighting each other. Good movie so far. Okay, and I, I will state here that the views and comments expressed on the the, the page uh, and in the comment section do not represent the views of the Emo State blog or the Citizens Forum platform or my personal views as the host here, okay? All right, Levina says, how can he go there on his own with his police? That is wrong in the first place. I think some of you don't, you know, don't understand what really um, went went on, if there's time, we'll just slot in a little bit of, you know, what you inspired earlier. Uh, Chukwezi, Matthew says, they deserve what is coming for them since they feel they fail to share money and change in post. This is the beginning. I probably must start to talk. Voila, okay. All right. Uh, Nam Sunibu says that the government sealed the property uh, justly or unjustly, he cannot break into it. There is a government in place and there is a process to follow or you get arrested. There's just a ton of um, you know comments out there in the comment section. I want to just say thank you so much for each and every person that has uh, tuned in and sat through uh, a whole session. I want to just say thank you so much for staying through um, the program. It's just been a lot, really. We're going to be back again tomorrow. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll we'll see how things unfold in Emo. We'll see how and and and, and come back and, and you know update you know, update you on what's going on so we can continue the conversation. So we'll, we'll be ending this session today. And um, I wanted to say thank you for staying through. All right now. And it's good night from here.
know what that nonsense. I don't know what that nonsense. You know, you know. Can't stop that nonsense. Who are you? 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 Stop. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.